Replacing a diaphragm in any KDB diaphragm valve is a very straightforward process. Importantly, it can be carried out without the removal of the valve from the line. Correct diaphragm replacement, carried out in accordance with the processes outlined in the following demonstration, will ensure that your KDB diaphragm valve continues to offer dependable, leak-proof service. Before disassembly, rotate the hand wheel anti-clockwise to fully open the valve. Loosen the bonnet nuts. and remove the bonnet. Rotate the hand wheel clockwise to the fully closed position to relieve the pressure exerted on the diaphragm by the compressor. Remove the diaphragm by unscrewing it anti-clockwise. Line up the new diaphragm screw with the thread on the compressor and screw in the diaphragm clockwise until the thread is fully engaged. Now rotate the diaphragm anti-clockwise to align the holes in the diaphragm with the bonnet bolt holes. Rotate the hand wheel fully anti-clockwise. The diaphragm should sit flush with the bonnet. Make sure that the holes in the diaphragm line up with the bonnet bolt holes. Position the bonnet over the body, ensuring that the bonnet and body bolt holes are aligned properly. Insert the bolts and finger tighten the nuts. Rotate the hand wheel until the valve is fully closed. The bonnet nuts must be tightened with a calibrated torque wrench following the diagonal sequence shown here for 4 or 8 volt valves. Tighten the nuts according to the recommended torque settings. Now rotate the hand wheel anti-clockwise to the fully open position and re-torque the bonnet nuts, again observing the correct tightening sequence. Your KDV diaphragm valve is now ready for service.